Hello girls. They've observed us. They see us coming. So it's quite interesting that without any prodding they always are in a in a tight pack because I guess it must be the instincts. Yeah. Right? There's no predator or no electric fence to move. But they're them. in a large open space. So then the yeah. instinct might take over and dominate that you're safe in the pack. Yeah, because it's a very large open space possibly, yeah. yeah. It could be. But it's nice because it's less work for us as well. Yeah. Instead of having electric fans moved all the time. Yeah. And it costs less on the blocks of minerals we have to buy. Yeah, yeah. Of course the drawback is you don't get this complete grazing. So now I'm predicting at the end of the season we'll have some of the thistles left, for example, because they were really they like the thistle Olden. flowers though, but then the yeah, they had already finished flowered. flowering and it was already getting really seeds late season. Yeah. So some species are going to be left untouched. Yeah. Which means if you would do this repeatedly, those species that are left untouched would yeah. start dominating. On the other hand, what is left untouched at the end of the season might be a preferred species at the beginning of the season. Yeah, we'll have to see. So yeah. But in any event, they are pooping everywhere, or yep. however they're pooping. Yeah. And they're of course aware of where they poop because at least they don't eat where they pooped. Yep. In that sense, they're aware. And uh, hopefully, we will have a very different kind of root structure of these plants over a couple of years compared to the other field, uh, neighboring field, where we will not let the cows graze. Hello, girls. Hello. Hello. She had something from her mouth, but it's just from a thistle. I was oh. wondering what it, it's just sticking out of her mm. mouth. Actually, one of the dry seed heads, so they do eat some of them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I can't see any ticks or anything. Mm -hmm. 